Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not Neil, but he is in there and he will be showing us around as well as telling us all about Image on Workwear. Hey Neil, how you doing? I'm good, Russell, awesome. thank you. Thanks for coming. No, no problem. Um, so, we're gonna have a little tour around before we have a chat, if that's all right yeah, with you. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, Dan, my business partner. Dan mm. looks after the, the design side of the business, so mm. anything creative, setting the jobs up, ready pre-production. That's done from here, mm. Dan looks after that. He presses, so whether it's a full color logo uh, or a single color logo from a, from a print perspective, this is the sort of thing that would have been done in larger quantities in screen print, but this is what enabled us to do sort of fairly controlled runs. Mm -hmm. That's all done from here. Mm -hmm. Moving around to production uh, in terms of embroidery. So we have two single head embroidery machines at the moment. They can run independently or they can run as one machine. Okay. So if there's a job that we want to get out that's mm -hmm. multiple items, that's quite good for that. They're very, very fast. Um, and then next week, quite excitingly, we've got um, a four-head machine coming oh, right. in, so we'll have six machines in effect that increases the production quite considerably. And then we come on to Tom. Yeah. Tom's not been with us that long. He's uh, taken to it quite quickly, and he's looking after the actual production now. So Tom's mm -hmm. setting up jobs here ready for embroidery. And then wide format printing. Um, so this is um, a wide format printer. The special bit on this really is uh, the media that goes through it. Mm -hmm. So for us, we use it for our garment printing, but we can use other types of media uh, to go through that as well, such as um, banner material vinyl. But we're not, we're not an all things tall men uh, company. It's really just the ability that it has, but for us, it's mainly for the clothing mm -hmm. side of it. And then that's the workshop area downstairs. And then upstairs, we've got uh, uh, a showroom and we've got the offices as well. So I thought perhaps we would go upstairs and have a chat about that. Brilliant, yeah, let's that's do right. it. Good, yes. thank you. We're here in the Image on Workwear workshop, as you can hear some of the machines going. Absolutely. Work doesn't stop. Work and environment. Indeed. Um, so tell us a little bit about how Image on Workwear started. Image on was started in 2003 by myself. Uh, we're a branding company, so we produce branded workwear, clothing for corporate, B2B, uh, trades guys, that sort of thing for their workwear, safety wear, for example, uh, printed and embroidered. So I'm a new business. I want to get some workwear. Which application method is going to be the best for my, my business? Where we like to think we differentiate from, from most companies uh, is that the reason for having a premises like this, for example, and working on, on a nice showroom is the ability to bring customers in. Um, they can see, touch and feel products, which they don't normally get anywhere, really. So a lot of those people will be buying online, but some people will have been elsewhere or they'll phone up and they'll say, we want a T-shirt, and that's what, literally what they'll get. From their perspective, it's more important to know what they're going to use, where they're going to use it, what their business is, because different products work in different environments. So it's really about fitting the products to the right application. And I guess, of course, online, you can't really get that level of interaction. No, absolutely. Uh, and we do get a lot of calls along those lines where someone has gone down that route, it's not necessarily because of price, but because it seems more convenient, mm -hmm. as most things seem to be these mm -hmm. days. But in what we do, you can't get away from touching and feeling, trying, um, and understanding that we understand what's going to be used and how they're going to, how it's going to wear uh, with what they're actually doing as a job. So, how long would it take to produce an order? Uh, generally, we work at this point in time on a ten working day turnaround. Um, that seems to be the, the sort of market fit, unless you're buying online, mm -hmm. which is, can be silly turnaround sometimes. But as we're growing as a business, uh, we're trying to improve on that because our customers are happy with the turnaround that we do but we're hoping to bring that down to maybe five working days where, it, where it's possible. Just depends on the size of the job, whether it's embroidery or whether it's print, for example, because both take different times to do. Right. And so is there a minimum order for each of those? Or? Uh, basically, there is no minimum order. And what we mean by that is in the early days, when it was just me, uh, you know, no minimum order could mean one of something. doesn't mean we can't do that now. We can, but what it means is if people are used to buying... 25 polo shirts in red extra large, 25 polo shirts in red large, for example, that's the way the market traditionally worked. What we can actually now do is fit basically people's requirements to their budget. So if they only want 50 garments, it could be 10 of one, 15 of another, for example. So we give them total flexibility. It doesn't even have to be the same size product, shape product, for example. It could be different styles because everyone looks and feels yeah. better or different in, in uh, those sort of things. So Neil, tell me, why is there a setup fee? 
Uh, basically, the setup fee is a one-off fee. Um, generally, it applies to embroidery only, mm -hmm. because if you think about it, when people print these days, all the type, different types of medias people are using their logo, and most of the time, print formats are pretty generic. So as long as it's a good quality, it can be used. So it doesn't take too much. If we have to do some design on print, mm -hmm. yes, there will be some design time allocated to mm -hmm. that, and there will be a fee. But the main thing is on embroidery. So basically what it needs is for that logo then to be turned into a stitch right. format as opposed to a print format. So that's really where that comes in. But it's a one-off fee. Uh, we give that to the customer as well because in some places they'll charge you for that and you'll never see your logo, mm -hmm. even if you went elsewhere. So the idea is that we're very upfront about that, but it, it is a specific thing. It covers it. And we also make sure then by covering it in uh, a setup fee that it's done accurately and the quality is how you want it to be. Yeah. A big concern for a lot of people when they buy these types of garments is, will the print come off? We get a lot of phone calls from people saying, um, do you do print? Yes, we do. Do you do that stuff that comes off? Uh, which is obviously a good advert for us in terms of, or a good opportunity in that, no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, the process that we use, if people are used to using screen print, that's where the larger quantity requirement mm -hmm. comes in. So the processes that we and most people use today to fit the quantities that people want is a, is a heat process. Um, and basically it needs to be done correctly mm -hmm. and I can honestly say hand on heart in two, since 2003 I've had one job where there was an issue um, basically it's because I used the wrong product on the wrong garment um, so no if it's if it's done properly mm -hmm. uh, it shouldn't come off so when people come to us it's a great opportunity to show them that really it, it could be done in a certain way so what if I need a, a design logo concept for my for my job Sure. Um, well, the experience that we, we have here is quite um, diverse. Um, I'm a sign writer by trade, for example, and I've worked in the graphics market for all my career, really. Dan, the business partner, started as a web designer. So if people actually need some creative element to it, uh, we can do that in-house. Mm -hmm. Most people come to us with a logo ready, so it's really only that setup fee that we talked about mm -hmm. before that comes into play. But yes, we are able to help people create a design or just something that's a little bit more eye-catching because mm -hmm. it's about that brand and people seeing it and recognising it. Yeah. Now, what would you like to tell the BNI members that they might not already know about Image on Workplace? Sure. Uh, well, obviously in BNI, we're always talking about what our partners can actually tell people about us. Um, and why they should deal with us. And I think hopefully from what we've, we've talked about before is that um, just because someone's got workwear uh, doesn't mean that they're not always in the market for something else. All we ever really need is that opportunity to discuss it with someone if they've got it. And hopefully the things like the personal touch, our knowledge, uh, and our ability to guide them down the route to get the right product for the right application uh, is enough to win those people and bring them on board.